Welcome back to WJCL 22 Morning News. Thanks for waking up with us. And it is just about 15 minutes now before the top of the hour. Looking at the beachfront this morning, not a bad start. A good place to beat some of this heat for today will be at the coast. So we'll see those temperatures even for timing today, probably warming up close to 90 this afternoon. Already at 80 degrees, the winds are calm and lots of humidity at 89%. Tracking the tropics for you, you see the Gulf of Mexico very quiet, not hardly a few clouds out there. Here is tropical storm uh, Omar right here and here here is Tropical Storm Nana, which Nana could become a hurricane uh, maybe later today or even early tomorrow morning before making landfall there along Belize Coast or the Yucatan Peninsula. You can see as it moves in uh, by tomorrow morning, winds right now of Nana is at 60 miles per hour. And here is Tropical Storm Omar. Omar is not going to have any impact on the United States or any land at all. It's going to continue to pull away and actually weaken to a non-tropical system probably by uh, tomorrow afternoon. Of course, we're tracking the tropics for you. We may see a system coming off of Africa the next couple of days uh, that could maybe become a tropical depression this weekend. We're tracking on for you. Remember the peak of hurricane season is coming up really not too far from now on September the 10th. Temperatures outside starting out mid upper 70s close to 80 near the coast. Live radar is showing all the showers well off to our east. Really a good part of the daytime today should be mainly dry. Notice future cast though from now through lunchtime dry but around 2 and 3 o'clock there may be a few isolated showers popping up. Notice it parts of Effingham County maybe around Rink and down to Pembroke, maybe even parts of Chatham County. Just a quick little downpour. Also from Baxley, Alma, Blackshire, and Darien, you see a few little showers pop up there between about 5 and 6 o'clock, but most of us shouldn't see a whole lot of rain as we go through the daytime. Now, the impact for us today will be definitely these hot temperatures this afternoon from Alma to Blackshire, about 95 degrees. Also for Hinesville today, 95 from Stakesboro, Rink and 96. We'll see mid 90s, Pooler, Savannah, 92 at Skidaway, Bluffton this afternoon, 93, 92 for Beaufort, and 95 in Ridgeland, but when you factor in the humidity, it's going to feel like maybe 108 in Hilton Head this afternoon. That real feel from Jessup to Glenville, Hinesville, Savannah, Richmond Hill, Beaufort, all about 105 to 107. So be careful in that heat and humidity today. And more hot temperatures, really no break in this heat, at least all the way through Saturday. Probably Friday will be the hottest day at 98 degrees. We may see a heat advisory uh, there on Friday afternoon. And then as we start the holiday weekend out on Saturday, we will still continue to see those temperatures in the mid 90s and but there will be better chances for showers and thunderstorms for Sunday and also for Labor Day on Monday and like I said earlier the peak of hurricane